know they too late, though Animal, they in human form Bad in my nobody like work But you must hustle if you want job Ain't no finish, they won't fight us If them, they run, them no figure job I know they form, say I too righteous No come, they form, say you too like us Me no get the time for the hate and the bad energy Got my mind on my money Make you dance like broccoli Steady green like broccoli Steady on my grind, no I hear what they want Telling me couldn't have my fantasy They want to check if my time be no A few hours into my trip and things were already taking a turn for the worse. Were you at least able to find something available tomorrow? Delta, count your days because how do y'all stop someone from getting on their flight 15 minutes before departure because they're quote unquote late due to weather delays? This was also the last flight for the day and for safety reasons, I just stayed put at the airport overnight and I dreaded every single minute of it. And I just waited here until 6 a.m. when their desk was open, but even when their desk was open, they were nothing but inconsiderate about accommodating me. So I just checked into the closest hotel for the day, which was not my favorite place ever. And you'd think it stopped there, but I woke up a few hours later from my nap and girl, why was my room infested with ants? Like all over the food that I wasn't even able to stomach. Yeah, this journey definitely turned from a two day journey to a four day journey. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I get to Nigeria on Friday. The ginger has the ginger has left my body. Like I'm not even feeling like Detty December anymore. It's whatever. I'm going to, you know, try and keep as positive as possible. You know, I've I've tried to accept it, but God, listen. In 2023, don't try and use me to do strongest soldier. When you guys see me enjoy next week, sure, just know that uh we went through trials and tribulations to get there, Sha. Like, the girl is tired. Like, I don't even know what my energy is going to be like when I get to Nigeria for real. But your girl is tired. I wasted $150 getting my hair installed. And it's already been a week. I installed her last week on, I believe, the 8th of December. It's the 14th of December. And by the time I get to Nigeria, which will be the 16th of December, it's going to be time for her to, to come off. I just don't feel safe sleeping here. Like, and I've already, I've cried enough. Like, I'm done crying. After checking out and getting my money back, girl, I sought out to get some proper food into my system and just prepare for this new crazy reroute on my journey to Nigeria. And to add, the last time I was in Atlanta, I had the worst experience ever. So this flight situation here was just like confirmation that I have no business in this city. But thankfully, I did meet and interact with so many people here that might possibly change my mind on how I feel about Atlanta. I'm not gonna question too much about as far as like just you know not trying to like take um what's going on to heart like god definitely either protecting me from someone or from something from anything bad happening or he was trying to just put me in the path of people that are good to me and today was kind of like one of those days where it's like i've been encountering so much good like it's crazy like i'm not even mad at this situation right now because of how many like good people good conversations good interaction here comes one glass of wine camera in your face god gives us talent right mm -hmm. to do as he so desires us Amen. Eventually, after some hours, I was on my way to London where I would be having an almost 15 hour layover. Insane. And girl, tell me why they almost confiscated all of my makeup because of their liquid limits. But I chilled here for a little bit. I slept, I edited, I took care of myself hygiene wise, and I just did whatever I could to get my mind off of this brutal layover. I've been here for about like 10 hours now. As soon as I get to Nigeria in the morning, because my flight, I have another seven hour flight. Since I get to Nigeria in the morning, I promise you guys, I'm taking the best, like the best shower ever. Finally, after three days since the beginning of my journey, we were all set to join the festivities that is Deti Disemba in Lagos, Nigeria. Good morning. Good morning, Nigeria. 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 Good morning,
With prayer and good faith, I made it to Lagos safely, the city of vibrant energy and cultural excellence. Also the only city in the world where half the men are shorter than the women. Is that what I said? But prior to this, I had not been in Nigeria for 10 years. And as someone who was born here, it was so crucial for me to experience home as an adult and by myself for that matter. <laughs> The first order of business was to get some well needed rest. If you see all my outfit pictures, they're gonna be here. Okay, so we're currently heading out. I ended up fumbling last night, like jet lag definitely got the best of me. And then on top of that, my wig was not cooperating, so yeah i just ended up staying inside but today by force by five by force i'm gonna go out um i woke up at 5 p.m today but i'm at least gonna try and do something for the night time outfit of today is very chill um i don't know who's gonna be there so i at least wanted to just look a little bit cute but i'm not trying to put in too much effort because i still just woke up an hour ago so yeah this set is from fashion Nova. she's super chill it's a two-piece set and i really just put a scarf on because i took my wig off last night because it just was not cooperating with me when i was trying to go out so what i'm just gonna do is put the scarf on for today and then when i go out tonight i'll probably just put a different wig on as of right now today's vibes we'll see what's on the agenda i spent my first time out in nigeria with family at the garden ikoyi brunch spot so essentially just watch the world cup and i don't know nothing about soccer but i can assure you that we did have a blast you know we had a really good wholesome evening with good food music dancing and just the good chaos that is lagos nigeria essentially there was finally a good start to the rough beginnings of my trip I've just been like kind of like not like it's not going as planned for either yeah. one of us. It's like bro, like you know our bucket list is just sitting looking at us like no. <laughs> no, 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 because this December is very clean. It's been very PG. Very annoying. Like I wanted to fake, you know, being coming here all happy and stuff, but honestly, I was just tired and I'm still jet lagged too. And I'm trying to see if you have any plans, what you're up to. So I'm thinking maybe get dressed up, go mm -hmm. eat somewhere, and then from there we'll go out. Are you ready though? Okay, so here makeup are done. This hair is my favorite hair, like, I've been wearing this specific hair for like over a year, but I ended up getting a new wig. My old one was a little bit too funky when it came to the edges, but I love this hair. So I have on this set from Lanier DeVore. I'll probably see if I can take a picture today and just like insert it somewhere in the video, but it's really cute. Um, it's just a pants set. So yeah, we're about to head out. You guys, I've been having an issue with my bolt. Getting a driver just to come here and pick me up has actually been complete hell so at first i was trying to use uber but uber here like it works and people will probably accept but i feel like they're accepting other pickups from other apps so like i'll be watching the map and they'll be going in circles and circles going to different places literally not following the directions to come to actually pick me up so yeah it'll say like they're 10 minutes away but the next thing you know it's 20 minutes away 30 minutes away so i ended up getting the app bolt and right now i have a person that's coming to pick me up um first of all it's 2 a.m the first guy that i did he first of all he was coming from mainland so that, so that was already a problem it was like 20 minutes but then 10 minutes later mind you he ends up telling me that his car was faulty and he has to cancel the ride so i'm like okay thank you very much you know very unfortunate but at the same time like i've literally been trying to get an uber for an hour now <laughs> Hi, Faye. Hi, <laughs> okay. Are you look so cute? Good evening, sir. Good morning. Oh, oh, good morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Lagos is stress because it took me forever to do my makeup, my hair, everything. But Uber's outside. For who? Okay, thank you. 
Look how Amarachi really came and stole my whole outfit. My whole outfit from head to toe. Look how we're twinning. We all look good though. Oh. Boosty wear you body for selection. Don't for cyberdation. Yeah, 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 yeah. The finish is a no catch. This show was really nice. Um, we went to Ovi's house first. And we ended up going to Vertigo. I actually did not capture any footage on Vertigo because honestly, you guys, by that time, the night was over. It was 4 o'clock by the time we got there, like 4.10, 4.09 type thing. Um, so I was already tired. I didn't feel like recording much, but I probably should have because Vertigo actually ended really well. I don't know if I want to go like in detail, but let's just say so far so good. And I'm happy I went to Vertigo. <laughs> But yeah, I made it back home and I think I'm going to sleep. I'm probably not going to sleep until about like 7 o'clock because I'm very jet lagged. And then that means I probably wake up until maybe like 3 o'clock. And then that means that my day will start late. So by the time I wake up, it's already time to get ready for the next outing. But yeah, the night ended off really, really well. And I'm just ready to see what this entire week has to offer. So today is currently Thursday. Um, it's Thursday night. I think I've been doing a really bad job of like walking you guys throughout my days and i really hate the fact that like my days are really just spent at night why am i spending the whole day sleeping i hate it thing i've actually learned in legos though is that even when you think you're tired you're not tired you can't be tired yesterday i promise you guys i did not want to go out but as soon as i did my hair my makeup everything went out it was as if like i had a brand new body like the tiredness was gone i really want to go out don't get me wrong but getting ready is always the hardest part you guys know how it is especially as a lady it's like hair makeup thankfully my hair is already good i think i think she should be good but makeup ugh. i want you out the door it's vibes on vibes but yesterday basically um we spent the day with my aunt i feel like i should be telling you guys while i'm doing my skincare but i don't want to place this thing right here is the lighting okay honestly why not let's do it okay so let me get my tripod put my phone over here um so i can tell you guys about my days these past couple of days because it's been fun it's been crazy but it's been fun this whole shadow thing like it's pissing me off because this is where i'm gonna stand to be washing my face you know but this is where the good lighting goes it's okay let me at least tell you guys about nigeria so far because honestly we need to talk like at this point i've been here for five days no six days tomorrow will make it seven and i really just want to tell you guys about like my experience so far and how i feel about certain things what i like what i don't like so first of all The more you give, the more they I use my um, your face. There's no spoon. Yep. No, there's no spoon here. Okay, take mine. Oh, you're too kind. 
Thank you. Don't this worry. Is, uh, that, the lift, that the lift I will do for you. I'll give you my water, I'll give you my paper, oh, yeah. give you my bank card. I'm the wrong person to tell that to. I have a list of things I want. Oh, you said water, then you said bank card. Water check, bank card. Bank card, I am. Bring them. <laughs> Better, it better be better. Well, okay. It's 441. No, don't worry, I'll try okay. later. Cheers. <laughs> I love it. Bear in mind, it's 7 a.m. My stomach is still on Houston time. I don't like how you people are saying it's too early. It's 12 a.m. in Houston. This is a midnight snack for me. How's your day going? Rise and shine, the day just started. Thank you. In Lagos, nice seven a.m. It is three days to the holy day. We're having a holy morning. Ginnika doesn't want to be in it, but Ginnika is here. Ginnika actually is the reason why we're here. Back, mind you. That we saved you from distress. That's it. Oh my God. Thank you. Tell me more about this situation. There's no situation. He's been. You're being very, very. I ate a bat in the wee hours of the morning. Call me a village girl if you want to, but uh, Misha, my stomach was still on Houston time, so technically I ate at like 11 p.m. So yeah, and now it's seven. But on Tuesday night, um, I went to this 77 party, 777 party. It's just, you know, younger crowd. I'm using um, niacinamide cleanser and I couldn't bring the whole thing with me. So I put my stuff in a bottle. I'm just gonna roll the clips. All the hearts are broken, lucky. Only got feet to protect me. Oh, Yes, sir! This is year four of me and my boy Tuesday doing this shit. I don't know what I play T or I, you know, I start small. Let's turn up, let's go crazy. All the hearts are broken, lucky. Only got feet to protect me. Oh, Lord, I did her dirty. Something she'll never know. And that night was really, really fun. So, yeah, as you guys saw, my wig. I don't know if you guys like caught on to what was going on based on the clips, but my wig got chewed up by the fan. So it's like sometimes when you go to some restaurants or like some bars and cute little spots or whatever, they have like fans standing around because you know it's hot, it's Nigeria, let's be real. I'm standing next to this fan and talking to this girl and my wig, like I kid you not, it was a matter of like two seconds where I realized that my wig was no longer on my head. This fan literally went 
and chewed up my whole wig and I just dug to the floor obviously like the girl next to me she was very helpful her sister came along her sister came along and helped me out Kayla like you're my girl like she helped me through that entire thing Amarachi helped me Courtney helped me um Tati helped me like it was just a chaotic mess but they helped me out and thankfully ugh, you guys learn how to do your wigs properly because even though my wig was not even glued or melted on my head or anything you could not tell it was just sitting on my wig like if anybody wanted to grab it off they honestly could have one thing i will say though is that i can never be embarrassed in this life like there are few very few things that can embarrass me in this life and this was just not one of it like it's like you know keep it moving it's not that deep people that saw me after the fact would not have known that something like that happened i don't like stress so if something happens we fix it and we keep moving like you can only be embarrassed by something that you allow yourself to be embarrassed by so it was just a laughable moment you know what i mean so laughed about it we kiki we carried on i'm literally telling the girls like y'all could be real with me if my wig does not look good right now like tell me it looks good or it doesn't look good and yeah that was basically my tuesday night nothing too crazy i like putting this on my face now this is my second bottle so far but yeah yesterday was fun tonight fingers crossed it's going to be even better but let me tell you guys how i feel about my trip so far so if you guys don't know the last time i was in nigeria was when i was 12 years old so definitely coming here as an adult was something that i wanted to experience on my own and i really really love it i'm not gonna lie though one of my favorite things about being in an african country is that it's nothing but black people there isn't you don't feel uncomfortable around your people that type of thing like i love just i'm sorry but I love being around black people like I love my people I love being at home obviously I haven't gone to experience much as far as like nightlife just being at home with my people just feels great like well, you guys know I'm a Nigerian girl at heart it's like very very hardcore Nigerian like you will know I'm Nigerian within the first like 10 minutes of speaking to me but where there isn't racism there is hardcore classism like that is one thing that i've experienced here for sure or like noticed the people on the bottom are looking up to the people on top they're serving the people on top um what am i going to do next i think i'm going to go in with my i'm going to use this dr dennis ross dark spot correcting serum i promise you if you use this right before you go to sleep and you wake up your face is going to feel brand new like there are two things that i use to make my skin feel brand new overnight midnight recovery botanical um cleansing oil this and the overnight drops but yeah no there's heavy classism you know there's a huge difference a huge gap between the rich and the poor and it's one of those things to where the rich get carried away or the people on top get carried away and they don't treat the people at the bottom well you know i'm from texas and on top of that i was brought up very well i have manners i like please and thank you like my friends know this if there's one thing i like it is good manners you know so the please the thank yous and stuff like that like i notice when i say it to like let's say my uber drivers or you know like house helps or you know, whenever like you say thank you or you say please or like you're very courteous to them it just makes them feel uncomfortable and i'm like why do you feel uncomfortable but the only reason why it's like that is because they're not used to it they're not used to hearing thank you and please basically just being used to getting pushed around or being told what to do and but it's definitely something i've noticed my friends and i as in the ones that are you know coming here the ones that came here together we all spoke good about it and it just makes us feel a little bit sad you know like i personally just love manners i love you know making people feel comfortable and stuff like that and it's very upsetting when there's just a huge difference a huge gap like and the thing is the people at least in in america it's something where like you have the opportunity even if you're at the bottom you have the opportunity to like build your way up obviously for some people it's a little bit harder but what i'm saying is like there's opportunity regardless yeah so like in america you have the opportunity to to go to school start a business i'm not saying it's easy okay i'm not saying it's easy there but you definitely have those opportunities to where you can work your way up over time just find things that can elevate you in your life and your lifestyle but there are people here that if you start off as a house help you're more than likely going to be a house help for the rest of your life if you start off as a gate man you're more than likely going to be a gate man for the rest of your life if you start off selling a gig of bread on the streets you're more than likely going to spend the rest of your life 
selling that. I'll spend more time just looking around, doing what I can do. Like I try to, you know, tip as much as possible when I have cash on me and that type of stuff. But all in all though, my trip so far has been really good. I'm really loving it. Like I feel, I feel at home, you know? I feel at home, like I feel so good. I'm trying to debate if I want to take this scarf off right now. I'm even still debating if I want to go out stuff. Like doing my skincare just makes me feel so, so, so good and so cozy. Like now all of a sudden I just want to lay down and sleep. I'm really just happy though. Like I'm really happy to be here. I'm, I'm also really happy that you know, this is something that I've been planning since the beginning of the year. Like, Tony and I have been talking about this trip since, like, since. So I'm just really happy that we both got the opportunity to just put ourselves out here. We even have a whole bucket list that we're trying to accomplish. First of all, my girl has been working quick. But yeah, like, the bucket list is looking real nice right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. As of recently when I've been traveling, I'm trying to do this, like, with the group of girls that, I, that I'll be with, you know, we'll have a little checklist for the trip, like what's your mission for the trip. I'm not gonna lie, we always speak it into existence. Like it always just ends up happening. Girl, if you're traveling somewhere, definitely make that bucket list because it just keeps you on your toes. It, get, it keeps you very adventurous. It keeps you very, you know, willing to put yourself out there because when you have a checklist, especially like you have a to-do list or something like that, you're already on like, okay, what's next? Let's get this done, you know? But yeah, I really, really love that for us. And I'm a very like out there type of person. Like one thing about me, you'll never see me at a function and I'm just sitting arms crossed in a cute outfit, not dancing, not smiling. Like that is not me, I don't like it. Mixing and mingling, that's my thing. Like I love talking to people regardless of the age or whatever. Like, it's just my thing. I really love that. And putting myself on this trip was definitely the best thing for me. I don't know what I want to do with this hair. But I'm going to figure myself out. And I will talk to you all when we figure out what the vibes are. Nabatos, just the girls. No boys, who. Are we checking stories? We're not checking stories. Are we checking tags? We're leaving them on scene all on summer. Scene, baby. Show your skin, show legs, show shoulders, show nyash, show breasts. All of the above. Do you, baby? Marachi just called me and told me that she's on her way to pick me up. So the rush has finally kicked in. I was trying to give you guys some beauty content, but I gotta go. Okay, I'll catch up with y'all as soon as I'm ready. No love for the summer. We love in the winter. No love this summer. Skin, show legs. No love show shoulders. This summer. Show nyash. Show breasts. All of the above, do you, baby? If I was a man, maybe you'd never If there's one thing that I know how to do and do very, very well, that is changing up my hair every single chance that I get. Today I'm wearing this hair from Mega Look Hair. I basically just crimped it. This is the fit, my favorite way of wearing it. And I always, of course, love doing my cute little side part because I feel like it's best that way. I think the makeup looks really cute. I might need to like touch up on it just a little bit because I feel like it looks a little too cakey right now. I basically have this top from Fashion Nova. Yeah, I have a black bra underneath and I'm wearing this black leather pleather skirt from PLT. And then I'm also wearing this purse today and just some black shoes. And I think this is really cute. Purses from Boohoo. Boohoo actually has a lot of like really cute purses. And speaking of purse, I have to put all my things inside because my Uber is on the way. Inside I have battery packs, of course, because even one camera sucks. I have my portable charger. I didn't need it yesterday, but I know for a fact I might need it today. I'm carrying this brush with me. This is basically my setting powder brush. But I just love using it to like dab my face whenever I need to. And then I'm going to be taking my glosses and lip liners with me. So I'm going to RSVP Lagos. It's basically this restaurant out here. I'll show you guys the details and like, you know, how it looks on the inside. But it looks really, really nice. It's one of like the top restaurants that was on my list. Liner. And then I'm taking this lipstick from Morphe Sweet Tea. I just basically put on the bottom and then I top it up with Morphe on top. And sometimes I do take... Um, Juvia's Place 
barely there right on top that's what i did today but i'm not going to carry this with me because i don't have the space for it um and then i also go over it because basically this is like a black liner and i go over it with the kat von d um gloss in uh oh there's no anyways it's this brown kat von d gloss i just basically reline my lips with it to give me like this very like nice dark brown color that i really like um today i also have to carry cash with me hoping 25k is enough but i know other than that like i haven't had to pay any other time that i've been out the only thing that i pay for literally in this country is my uber like as soon as i'm out i know that i'm very well taken care of so yeah i'm gonna take this bag um my camera my light and that's basically it i think i can fit this gloss inside before i forget i'm gonna make sure that i take an elastic band with me because you just never know when it's gonna be needed and yeah i think this is really really Really, really cute. But yeah, I'm gonna turn off everything and get going. Bye! Oh, I probably should have put it on here this whole time. This looks so nice. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. Let's go. We made it out. I always make sure that I call a male friend as soon as I'm walking into the Uber. So we're calling right now because the Uber is here. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, Good evening, how are you? Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Be blessed, huh? Yeah. I'm a little gorgeous. Oh, thank you. We just made it to RSVP. I'm currently waiting on Amarachi to answer me she texted I'm supposed to meet her inside hopefully she's even here Sha. so amarachi's not here yet so i'm just gonna wait out here until she gets here but for right now you guys can at least check out the full fit um so here's this bag boohoo plt fashion nova shoes are semi she's saying she's three minutes late this is coming from somebody that was telling me at five o'clock don't be late for eight o'clock and now it's 9 30. Oh, hey, do better but at least we'll get to walk in together because i was hoping that they wouldn't have at least started eating before me or like you know gone to like order before me and stuff like that like this way we all get to like experience it together but look at how cute this place is definitely would be really nice to like take pictures right in front there the ride was actually really quick getting here but speaking of let me tell you guys some of the things that i do when i'm inside of an uber or like some of the steps that i take because like i told you guys when i was walking out um i try to make sure that i call a male friend as i'm walking out but another thing that i do when i book the uber or basically they use bolt out here but when i book the ride i always double check this was advice that was given to me by someone that lives out here like one of my aunties so she basically said that when you book an uber you click on the person click on the name and make sure they have like over a thousand or like 1500 or 2000 rides completed um so i definitely booked some and some of them were saying like they just started six days ago they just started five days ago or they only have like 100 rides 60 something rides and i'm not gonna lie like i love supporting you know get your money however you can but my safety comes first so if i see that somebody doesn't have enough rides i'm not even gonna play with that if you just started ubering or doing this boat thing six days ago i'm not even gonna play with my safety like that i'm not gonna play with my life like that i will cancel the uber and i will book the next person um so that's one thing that i do i definitely get on the phone with one of my male friends um make sure that they say like certain cold words like okay where are you headed how far are you from your place or how far are you from the location what else also just make sure that they double check that they've started the ride look who's here it's so cute here hi babe i don't know what's wrong what's this energy i don't know my friend we are gonna take pictures y'all will probably not see these pictures on my instagram but i'm gonna definitely take it for the memories that's one thing i'll do for sure Yeah.
to be answered Who I need is a new stuff Need a brand new me Said so they want some sweets And I can't talk so That's what I'm talking No, this light is actually dangerous. So we just went to slow, you guys. Ten out of Instead of, we're supposed to go to RSVP, but um, what was the reason again? Oh, their um, kitchen was their kitchen was closing at ten. Well, like, either way, fun. slow was really, really good. Really good. Hard to really impress people in a restaurant. You ordered fucking flatbread. What did you no, think? No, no. Oh. Like, I won't say it was the best restaurant I've ever been to. The ambiance was really good. It was good for a non-African food serving restaurant in Africa. What do you rate it? In America, a good 8.6245. How do we get there? Uh, don't worry about the calculations. <laughs> what do you give it, Adora? Give it a six and a half to seven. That's very fair. Huh? I was gonna, I was gonna, what? <laughs> I was gonna give it. Yeah. I was gonna give it a seven, or like six point six point seven nine. Don't go and embarrass me on my rating <laughs> on my Instagram now. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like it wasn't crazy. Bless your officers. If you can see your officers here, are your men? Anything you give your men, they will appreciate. That's a pile of clothes in the back. And my water, corn. I have lippies, I have house key. Let's go. Off of the night, we are headed out to celebrate New Year's. Year. So yeah, we're heading out. We actually don't know where we're going, but as usual, we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. What are you wearing? So I'm wearing this dress. It's from gorgeous. Cuckoo. And then these shoes are from Zara, and then the bag is from my mom. Let's see. Ooh, the body is body. Period. So I'm wearing Jaded London for the corset. Period. And then I wear this skirt again. This is from PLT. Um, I wore this like two, three days ago, but I have to wear it again. Period. I have this bag from Fashion Nova. It sold out, sorry. But <laughs> it's so nice. It's so pretty. I have to get it. And then I have shoes from Simi. Fortunately enough, they're pretty comfortable and they bring a pop of color to the look. Yeah. And face, as usual, is my mother. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Marachi has fired us to go where we don't know. Where we don't know. Where we don't know. It's a one minute walk. Are you serious? I feel like we're supposed to go into that gate. Oh wow. Men will always be men. Is he following us? Yeah, I told him to follow us. Were they saying stuff to you? I don't know. Table for who? Benjamin? Remember the name so we can just quickly <laughs> enter. No bad. Yeah, he needs to come out, please. <laughs> we have a table for Benjamin. Okay, Benjamin, yeah? Let me take that. Yeah. Oh, no, shiny. Trust 6 a.m. We're still outside. Yeah, I'm ready to go home though. Burn a boy tomorrow, maybe. Do you want to say hi? Are you shy? Shy. January 1st, uh, -uh. Become with good energy, January 1st. Oh. Hi, what's your name? Jabu. Jamil. Jamil. Oh, that's nice, period. Jamil, see where I'm at at 6 a.m. Thank God. Everybody say burn! 
Quand tu débouques, quand tu débouques, ta cuisse moque à la coupe, tu te dépenses pour tes groupes. Look at the look as if it's not enough. Don't know how to show you my love without fucking up. But I can buy you a new wave. Three for me, two lies. God, salute. Listen, I'm always down for a good time and Lagos nightlife owes me nothing. I feel like I went to every club and party possible. Like I was tired and there's nothing like when you and your friend just know that it's not by force to do outside life every night. You know, outside life is cool, but I found that the moments I cherished the most were the wholesome moments with good company. I just started. If I should take it off, tell me now. Do you, do you still want to go? I don't mind. You don't feel like it? You think so? I don't care. Like I'm going staying inside. That way we can I can sort myself out for tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome back to Lexi's YouTube channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and do everything you're supposed to do. That's Lexi over there. We're going to the bar now. This is Amma. Amma wants to swim. This is Lexi, beautiful Lexi. She speaks Igbo and Pidgin with an American accent. We're at the birthday party. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Introduce yourself properly. Listen, this is a proper channel. You can't be doing anyhow on this channel. Come correct. Hi guys. Ah, PG 13 now. Okay, yeah. it is coke now. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's lemonade, even. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Hi guys. We're gonna, we're gonna do our, our three things that we've learned in Lagos. In Lagos, and three things you should know when you're coming to Lagos. Okay, I am. Yeah, no joking, yeah, no play. Hi. Hey, tell us, okay, what's one thing that you've learned in Lagos that you will now know moving forward? Um, you see, Igbo women. <gasps> Bring the dog, give me the dog, give me the dog. Oh, look at the dog. Oh, she smells minty. Okay, Miss Green. Here we go. She's pretty. Everyone say hi to Murat. 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 I'm taking this too seriously. Oh yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, you have to start again now, cause no, just continue. When when you edit, okay, the okay, okay, fair enough. Number one, um, yeah, Lagos women, the evil ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are wicked people. Mm. You Do you know who's next to you? Ibo woman. This is who you. This is this. No, is this one is expensive. Ibo woman. Thank it's you. It's expensive. Na Ibo state. It's na Anambra na Wala. Fight. No fear man. Fear, oh. fear man before anything. Yes. Ibo women are the best. Yes. I don't know what you're talking yes. about. Where do you find yes. beauty like this? Yes. Yes. Where do you find yes. beauty like this? No, no, beauty is standard. Like you guys are no, fair enough. I'm saying fear women or fear like I'm saying fear. The evil women, the yes, evil yeah. women that you find in Lagos. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, number two. One thing I've learned in Lagos, some of the alcohol is fake. Fake. Uh, I fake. swear. I swear. Some of the alcohol fake. is fake. So I'm gonna fake. I'm testing this. And, uh, I don't even be drinking like that, bro. Yeah, the cap is different. That one's fake. I mean. Yeah. That's not fake. <laughs> in Dandy's <laughs> house, fake. Oh, sorry. Yo. Fake. I can't tell the difference, so. Give us one more thing. Okay. As a man, yeah. don't walk around with no cash. Yeah, just have because money. you will be you will be humbled. They will actually the people that are asking for money, they'll even harass you for not even carrying money around with you. Uh, Every time, no, boss, no, boss, no, boss. No, in, no. in Lagos, one thing I've learned. Okay, fair enough. Hustle, fair enough. What do you what do you what do you say? No play. Body me also law. Do you understand? You want no joking, hustle. No play, no play. Last, last, as a woman, as a woman, wait, wait. Yeah. As a woman. As a woman. Beautiful. Hey, wait. Hey, hey, hey. She don't miss her. Hey, hey, hey. As a woman. No, no, no. 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 No, Move, John. Oh, she, she, she now decides. Anyways, um, Amarchi has carried me to go where I don't know because obviously now I'm here talking to you guys. Doing. doing eh? <laughs> now I'm here doing what? Th three things I'm learning in Vegas. The last time. Let me really shout out all my bros. Shout out Johnny, Tweezy Benson, AJ, yeah. shout out Pussy. Yeah. You know my words, bro. Very important.
important. If you are staying busy, you have to stay easy. <laughs> we are. We'll see people tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're going to the pool. Cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's go see you now. I'm gonna go see some guy one or two. You're <laughs> going to try to make my vlog. trying to edit so bad. I was actually trying to edit and then I just stopped. Do you want to go to beach? Today? Quickly. I want to get some pictures there, actually. That's what I'm saying. I need some Insta pics. Okay, bet. Okay, we're taking pictures. All right, send me the details. I'll start getting ready, okay? Just watch on that. They have really good stuff for holidays. Yeah, I want, I'm going. I'm going most of them. Really? Period. My friend Jesse. She's turning 22. Oh my god, he's so fun. Yeah, he's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, no, follow them. They have lots of like. Where's this curly hair? Oh, this is Asteria here. Why are these guys trying to tell me I'm from Houston when I'm literally London vibes? What are you talking about? Anyways. Houston. No. Uh, um, oh, my solar, my solar. Give us the English accent. I need a smaller uh hmm? Give us the English accent. What do you mean? This my this my English accent vibes. It was okay. It was chill. As long as I got my pictures. My pictures. Honestly, that's all that matters. Let me turn this light on so you guys can properly see me. I'm about to head out for 
dinner. Give me a second. I just quickly changed. I, I'm gonna do my makeup a little bit. Not, nothing too crazy, like just fix up, whatever. And then my wig kind of like shifted back, so I'm gonna glue it, not glue it, but like spray it down some more. And then I'm out. I'm actually late. Dinner started at 9.30. I didn't get home until about 9.20. I actually need to start calling my Uber like right now so that they can be here by the time I'm ready. All right, see you soon. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, we're finally ready. I want to do, um, I always love like when I have corsets, like whenever I have on corsets, I always love putting some stuff on my decolletage area, my um, collarbone area. I'm going to do a little bit of something. This is actually, I had to put this in this bottle obviously because I was traveling, but this is NARS um, body shimmer stuff. As y'all can see, it has already added such a difference. Like, you can see the difference between this boob and this boob. I be hugging people a lot, and I don't want to get any makeup on them. But at least, you know, try to warn people, like, hey, like, you know, I have some makeup on me. You know, be careful. But I just have to today because it just adds so much. But I love this. Like, this is the final look, and you just, you can see how much of a difference it makes. It just makes me stand out, and we love standing out, you know? of dawn was never my plan for the night it's currently 6 45 but i had so much fun definitely met some new people today this was definitely like one of the nights that i will say i like kind of cherished the most throughout my trip but yeah i met some amazing people and we go again later today i'm about to go get some sleep yeah girl let's go recharge and bustle the going out every day has definitely slowed down i'm spending more time like just doing like smaller you know more intimate things like going out with friends i've actually been going out to eat quite a lot a lot has happened a lot that i really didn't want to like vlog because it was just very repetitive like just dinners and stuff and then also like just moments that i don't really care to share like moments that i don't want on the internet you know what i mean so yeah like it's just been cool chill vibes yesterday I got my toes done and I got my lashes done. If you guys can't tell, I have lash extensions. He ate, like it's giving very much the lashes, the um, lash strips that I wear. Like you guys know, I'm anal you know, about my lashes. Like you saw it in my prep vlog. Okay, I don't play about those lashes. And I feel like it could have been a little bit longer, but like it's super cute. Like girl, girl. They're so cute. Today, fast forward, today, Friday, um, it's the start of the weekend. I don't have any plans for the weekend and I don't plan on having plans for the weekend, but I do have dinner, two, two food dates, let's call it that, two dining dates. So I have lunch with two girls that I've met out here. We're all gonna be getting lunch together. It was supposed to be lunch, we're supposed to meet at two, but it's currently like four, 40 something, whatever. But then I have dinner later tonight and that should be cute yeah at this point i'm at a phase where like i'm dead ass running out of clothes to wear yeah like i'm out of clothes to wear but as of right now there's a look it's cool chill brunch lunch type thing and yeah it's about to be absolute vibes um the girlies just texted me they're both on their way i just called my uber he's gonna be here and what the hell he canceled <laughs> I 
Another day, another outing in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm about to um, head out now to go to dinner. Today is going to be a very chill day. I'm not doing any clubs. I'm not doing anything outside of just eating and enjoying myself and enjoying the company of other people. So we're going to go to dinner. I have no idea where we're going yet. Um, I am not being told where we're going. I was told to get dressy, but I'm just going to get ready quickly because we're supposed to go at 9.30. I just got home. It's like probably eight o'clock right now. So I have about an hour, an hour and a half to get ready. This is the vibe for the night because I clearly look too good. Listen. Girl, you look so good. Oh, it changed the vibe. ready. I think I'm gonna keep it on the side because it really like helps out the look. Come in when you need somebody. Come when you feeling worried. Come in when you need some loving. I'll be there. Once I get up to that bed and I take this makeup off, I'm not gonna wanna talk to y'all no more. I'm gonna wanna sleep. But, um,. Where do we go? Went to Cali at first. It was a chill vibe, but by the time we got there, the kitchen had closed. So basically, we went over to Key, and Key has some good food, okay? Key has some good food. Coming to Lagos and not indulging in all the services that they have to offer honestly should be a crime. Um, you're missing out. But Lagos for me so far just takes the cake with creativity and quality with the many services that are catered to black women, obviously. From massages to lashes to braids to nails, girl, I did it all. I did it all. And I enjoyed every single minute of it, especially when a handsome gentleman always made sure that I was well taken care of, you know? And speaking of gentlemen, I I also noticed that their service industry was always filled with men working like the men did the lashes the men did the nails the men did the pedicures the men even did the braids and the hair and i did ask a few questions about it you know why do you think the service industry is so filled with men and what most of them said really was that you know men are able to take on more than women which is a little bit misogynistic to me so i'm not going to adhere to those beliefs but yeah like that's definitely something that i noticed while i was there Baby, now your love is the change and peel They keep it, the love at the energy But the high me like an AC Baby, now your love is the change and peel They give me the love and the energy Where they hold me like an AC You don't need no other body So I came to the passport office section to buy a bunch of goodies because I know they always have it and then I also spotted this booba place. Sorry, is it ready? Yes. What's the name? 
Kenny Sparkle, Mega Stories. Money day, money so nice. Day. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, I have to make sure that everybody at home gets something from me. So I made sure I had enough snacks, you know, just some good things. Like the typical African that my mother is, she has requested a goosey. She has requested, I don't know what you guys call this in your language, if you are Nigerian or African in general, but she requested crayfish. She requested a camo. Even after six weeks, my heart was so crushed leaving Nigeria. Like, honestly wish I could have given y'all more than a one hour vlog to fully capture what this trip entailed. And even though I got most of what I wanted out of this trip, I just knew that I was leaving a vital piece of myself behind. But at least I knew that I was leaving with a sense of connection to my home. Honestly, it's been amazing. But I wanted to go to the mainland a few times, at least to go to the market, you know, kind of like just look around and see what it's like. Maybe next time when I come. I give you my body. Of the many things that this trip taught me, gratitude was at the top of that list. Gratitude for life, gratitude for human connections, gratitude for my parents' sacrifices, and most importantly, gratitude for my home away from home. Come <laughs> This your beauty, get it on my body. Hey, the way I'm going to go to the front. This your color, no be fake. Oh, mom, mom, you. My banana, my banana. We've officially made it to the airport. Thank you, God, for getting me here safely. Now I'm about to upload all of my bags. Thank you. Please drive safely. Don't keep me waiting.